Hello again, and we're back for another episode. So, um, Mifri says hello, as always. So, let's continue. So we're carrying on the story quest. Yesterday we did a Sestasha run, so now it's time to see the next part of the story. Okay, so straight back to Leon. Whatever you want to call her. There she is. So it says Leon is waiting to brief you on your task. Okay, so it seems we're now heading to the second dungeon, which is called Tamtara Deep Cross. Thankfully this one's a lot closer as it's simply in Central Trail, so let's go. Maybe it's the weather. I'm just checking my computer to make sure there isn't any weird programs running. Let me check the graphics settings.
Okay, so as you can see, Tamtara is located here. Here we are. Okay, so it's now a case of using the duty finder to find the group. So the same as yesterday, duty finder. Tamtara, I'll select any group because I don't mind the language. Join. I was thinking about which class I will level next because for beta phase 4 um, the uh, classes are limited to level 20 so my archer is 20, my conjurer is 20 so I'm trying to decide which one of the other classes I'll do for the rest of the weekend maybe I'll do a tank just so I can fill any role but I haven't decided yet So we have our two DPS, now we just need a tank. So the gladiators and marauders are considered the tanks. The conjurer and arcanist are considered the healers and all the rest are DPS, damage dealers. You can also see next to each gear item, this green and red vertical bar is the durability. So it shows how much is left. So once it's completely red, it means the item is broken and you will no longer gain the benefit of the stats it offers. So it's a good idea to repair your gear to make sure that doesn't happen. someone on their Gubu mount. You can no longer acquire this mount in version 2 of the game, you can only get it in version 1. So anyone that has it will got it in version 1 and will no longer be able to get it on a new camera. There are better mounts however, so it's not the end of the world. As you saw yesterday in Sastasha, the role of the healer is quite simple. Uh, especially with the lower dungeons, it might not be too demanding. You know, I only had to throw a couple of heals and then um, the tank was more than fine. So, um, later on, I'm sure it will become more challenging. But healing in the game is not scary, not even at all. So I wouldn't be scared of doing it about keeping people alive because you saw how simple it was. Just select the person, click cure. It's as simple as that. You also have this ability here called 
um, the sooner, which means if they have some effect on them, such as poison or slow or something like that, you can cast this spell on them and it will remove that um, negative effect from your from the target. But as you see here, it says removes a single detrimental effect from target. So um, it means if they have two or three, you have to cast it two or three times. But this is a secondary. The primary always will be keeping them full health. I mean, this is the only reason I include this even in the video, because this is just a typical experience of a player, and that's why I want to share that this is what the game is really like. I don't want to give a false image about how everything is instant. Yeah, I think next I will level up either Gladiator or Marauder, just so if anyone asks for a party member to join, I can say, yes, I'll join, and I'll be any role, whether it be tank, DPS, or healer, I'll be able to fill any of them just by changing class. The other benefits, as I said yesterday, of having a big free company is that we've actually already hit the highest, or well one of the highest ranks you can get um, during this beta phase for our free company and it's only been a day because we have so many active members that it fills up the ranking very quickly and then the group as a whole gets certain perks um, which is very good. So one of the perks for example might be that we um, are able to store more items in our company safe and stuff like that. There we go. So I just need our damage dealers to confirm and they're re ready to go. And if, if the queue was to come up for someone and they don't click accept after 40 seconds, they'll just be replaced with whoever's next in the queue. So there isn't that much of a delay. So this is Tamtara Deepcroft. Now, the these beams are blocking certain parts of the dungeon so what you do is you have to deactivate each of those beams and once you've deactivated them all then the final boss will spawn. So that's a uh, conjurer, the first thing I can do is attack to increase everyone's defense. I will then use my food which will make me a little bit stronger as well. So we actually have an Arcanist in the group, who is considered DPS at this point. It actually, the summoners um, are considered DPS and the scholar is considered um, healer. So but I'm guessing at this point in the game, the um, Arcanist is considered a DPS, which I'm surprised about really. Very soon, as you can see, I'll hit level 19, so it's not problem. Level 19, I'm assuming, is the maximum level of this dungeon. If you're higher, then you'll probably be level 10. Down. So as you can see, my computer's running better now, the rain is gone. I don't know if that's a bug with my computer or with the game or not. I'm sure we'll find out with time. Thank you for taking so much damage, I 
assist with the damage. did exist in Final Fantasy XI along with lots of other ones, so I'm curious which other summons they might bring in if they do. When you c complete the required monsters on it, you will receive company seals which can be used for various rewards including um, chocobo bardings and armor and weapons and stuff, stuff like that. For the sake of Beta Phase 4, they said really this is more like a, a demo of the game rather than the full release, which is why it's limited to level 3. So people can come in, give it a go, see if they like it, and then decide if they want to buy it and try to launch next week. It's almost redundant that I'm not able to upload this video ahead of time because maybe someone would have seen the video and then decided to pre-order there and then, but never mind. That's uh, the way the video comes as I say. As you can see the graphics are absolutely stunning and it is nice that my PC is quite powerful so I'm able to enjoy it and fight high resolution. So it is taking me to a whole new world. to notice is here you see the experience bar it has a different color a part of the way that means that until this point I will be getting bonus experience
Now, one thing to know about being in a dungeon is that you're not actually able to send um, whispers to other players and stuff like that. And the reason why they said is because they don't want you to be distracted while you're in the dungeon. The focus of being in the dungeon is to complete the dungeon, but you also cannot send private messages to the other players in the party. And again, the reason why they said is to prevent abuse. So you can use party chat to communicate, but you cannot send personal private messages just so you um, you can't make anyone feel bad or whatever without the rest of the group seeing it. And then if the rest of the group do you not know, like what you're doing, they have the option to vote you and kick you out. When the boss is released from here, we have to, to fight him. I will simply greed because it's not for my class. Okay. And the sound means that I actually won the item because no one else needed it. The dungeons are fairly brief compared to other games, so, um, you know, maybe half an hour you'll be done, which it makes it a lot more fun, especially when you consider doing multiple I think you'll never see the rest of them until you run out of them quickly, so you don't take much of that damage. The first time I came to this dungeon during the previous beta phase, the weapon I was using as Conjurer was so weak that my heal was hitting for about 60 HP, which meant I had to constantly cast it to hope to keep the tank alive. Whereas right now, the heals are hitting for about 150, so it's a lot easier to keep everything on. Which is the way it should be. They added a lot more um, rewards to the class quest, so every 5 levels when you do a new class quest, you get a level appropriate weapon with it, which is a lot better than the was before, that was not the case. Thankfully the health points and magic points, mana points, recover very quickly when you're out of combat. So you don't have to, uh, you know, spend time sitting down drinking the ink the mana to 
whatever, it has to go fast when you continue playing. Which is good, really, because, again, in other games, you waste so much time on that for, for what reason, not for much game. Now, the reason we decided to go this way rather than to the, the main way is just to get this chest, which is just normal, it's typical of any issue, is that they would rather explore everything than going to get the chest and get the chest and get the experience points and get the answer. It won't be until later, um, especially doing things like Medic Quest, that you have to worry about finishing the dungeons as quickly as possible. So as you can see, we have all the time in the world, so we're trying to get counted down, we have 77 minutes to finish the whole thing. There are these things that will take even longer. Oh, the time is always there to count it down, just to make it stand still. Anymore, oh, I'm gonna go eat food and I'll be back later. You know, all of that is gone from this game. So it really shows that a lot of these design elements have been thought out. You know, they have spent a lot of time thinking what would give the best experience for the player, and usually it is playing the game and not wasting time because of other players or having other players make you feel bad or whatever. It's a bit of Usually someone might say that there is a certain level of responsibility to behave yourself anyway. But if they can help motivate that as well, it's, it's only a good thing. It's never be a bad thing. And as I said, because you spend so long with one character, people will know you, they will they will learn your name, they'll see you, they will know if you're reliable or not. So on and so there is no game whatsoever behaving badly in the game. It's always better to be polite and you'll, you'll enjoy yourself more because of it as well. So we have a huge of you can see in the advanced various abilities. And you can see what he's doing. So when he says here, wrap the form. Oppo, Oppo phone and stuff like that, uh, you understand what he's doing. So as you um, learn more about the different classes, you will know um, very instinctively if this player is good or not. So I already have these boots, so I'm going to pass it to the other player. there's too many monsters, but once you get one of them down, then the rest of the fight will seem straightforward. This dungeon really is not a challenge for us at the moment, because we're all the appropriate level, and we all seem to be doing not what we're doing. So. Because of the duty finder, they have just eliminated the need to worry about, you know, spending so long finding a group or being upset you don't have friends on the server or that. All of that is not a worry. You just come in, you click one button, you find other players and that's it that. So you don't have to um, be scared because I think sometimes people will say, oh, I don't want to play this game because I don't have any friends in it and all my friends are in this other game. And that is just not enough a obstacle in this game, not at all. You can finish the whole game. Um, solo if you really wanted to, but there is always the option to make friends later. So 
as I said, the dungeon is fairly short. You don't have to worry about things taking too long. But it is fun because each um, boss fight does have its own um, gameplay, which you, you need to learn. I will greed on it just for the sake of it. It doesn't matter if I win it or not. There you go, I won it. So when I hit level 15 Farmer Turge, I've already got a weapon ready. One setting I did enable actually in the menu was automatic. Um, uh, organizing, the automatic bag sort of thing. Um, so the reason I enabled that was just to save myself time. And what that does is in the third bag it will put all potions, food and stuff like that. In the fourth bag it will put all crafting materials and then everything else it will put to the first two. And that does save a lot of time because it just means I know just going to my third bag all of my potions will be there. It's a very clever feature that they put into the game. And then later on I simply decide which bits I keep in my bags and which parts I put into the retainer. sort of area and then we're towards the last boss. gear eventually does play a part of it because sometimes you might have a tank you know that's a key threat but they just take way too much damage from the monster because they just don't have enough gear and the monster hits them too hard. In that case it's going to go back to be harder um, but you can always try some gear. The 
especially right now since my um, heals are healing sometimes for nearly half of the tank's um, health. And as I stated before, the reason I move all these bars next to each other is so I can keep an eye on all of them at the same time without having to look up here for the health bar and down there for my own health bar. And it's also good for so when you select a monster, obviously their health bar is there as well, so you can keep a, a close eye on how soon the monster will be dead versus um, how much mana you might have left. In. attention on the players who need healing over the ones who don't. Now before we can actually break this barrier, we need to go to the room behind it to break this one, and then we can break the last two orbs so we can get the final boss now. As you can see, the, the group is doing a good job of dodging any abilities that they can easily block. They are always a threat of those abilities, and that's why they give you plenty of ones to dodge them, because if you just keep taking the damage, you'll put unnecessary um, strain on the healer, which might result then in the whole thing failing. really do help the group out if you're a damage dealer, if you avoid any damage possible. Sometimes it's next to impossible to dodge, especially when we get to the um, upcoming Ifrit fight, but um, as much as you can, I try to avoid. And as time goes on, especially when you've already done a fight before, you will learn when to dodge in time. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that we've got rid of that one, it means that the main barrier towards the last two um, cultist orbs will be destroyed. So clicking on this will now make it disappear. So there's no way to pull these separately, I believe. I believe you have to pull it all at once. And what the tank is doing now, he's assigning a kill order. So by putting the one over the monster, he's saying to the group, kill this first. And again, it's one of those fights where at the beginning there might seem to be too many monsters, but then as soon as one or two die, then the rest of the fight will be straightforward. an upgrade. So as I said, now that they're all disabled, here's the boss. some points during this fight, um, he will spawn extra monsters, and until they're killed, he will be immune to all damage. I will try not to waste too much mana because it will be one of the slightly longer. giving you the strong indication that you need to kill it first. As you can see at the top of the screen, the limit break is slowly going up. It's usually filled in time to deal a good amount of damage to ending the 
fight. It's obviously better to use both at the same time rather than just one. Better to gather in one spot before the tank is going to run into where to try and get the monster back. That monster is better to live with. hit by the ability and it took a quite a lot big chunk of damage off. It's interesting that the limit breaker is not filling up so quickly. Don't know if that's intentional or if um, a bug of the game for the top of the FA Either that or the group is doing so much damage, the fight is a lot um, quicker than it should be. Now straight back to Leon, so I'll simply return. As you can see, beginning to end, very quick dungeon, nothing to worry about.
Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.